o'clock. It was going to be, there's no numbers on it, and it was going to be a clock with no hands. What would be like a bike with no engine? So I said, I'll put hands on it, but no numbers to help him out, because he, he doesn't care what the numbers are. It's just 24-7, la di da I'm retired and you're not. Cajun Cavalier. <laughs> sits at home with you. <laughs> so she's got a big old job jar. <laughs> and there's nothing in it yet, Lee. <laughs> Go ahead and fill that baby up. Looks ordinary, doesn't it? Right, it's not a magic trick. There's nothing going to happen here. No. It's a milk carton. The last one, the last one off the assembly line of this particular model. This was the one that had Bandit on the back. <laughs> he was missing for most of 2007, but by God, <laughs> he got him back. He's here. That's the last one. Right. Welcome back. He's no longer the kitchen Bandit, but the missing Bandit. The <laughs> missing Bandit. There you go. Yeah, let's not let that stick. Uh, kissing Bandit was good. Although it's been a while. <laughs> no. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> and I know it. All righty, all righty, here we go. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? Every year we get Ben Smoke Awards. Oh, yeah. Everybody knows what that's all about. But this year, this year, it's a puzzle. No, we got two of them. <laughs> two Ben Smoke Awards, and you don't have to say much about it. First one happened back in February, coming back to North Carolina on a Valentine's Day chocolate run. Paul Rogers took a dump, hurt himself on his leg, and uh, took some months to get back to us and heal. Paul Rogers, glad to have you back. Rubber side down. The first the second one, this was kind of a rush job, but it's got more bends than yours. This, <laughs> you know, what's the old saying? Um, Mm -hmm. uh, I forget what the saying is. I, that's part of be, being old. But good. Oh, no good deed goes unpunished. Thank you. You're welcome. On his way to do a good deed, Jim Ballinger had a small accident. Uh, I'm not sure the condition of his bike, but he's here with us, and we're ever thankful for that. Uh, the hat. Don't ask him to tip it. It's stuck. <laughs> but the best spoke award. It's the 124 Star Riders. Spirit of the Ride Award. It's not every year we give it, but uh, we've been giving it here the last couple of years because we've got some outstanding people. Oh, yeah. That's what makes 124 or 124. Well, this person is active on the 124 message board, whether it's to lead a ride or getting the rest of us to get up off our butts and participate in some ride, whether it starts here or anywhere within a 300 mile circle. This person spends a great deal of time in contact with other Star Rider groups and lets us all know what rides they are doing as well. So he keeps us pretty well informed and then he organizes intergroup rides. He's very, very busy, very active rider. He's always ready and willing to help someone, be it information, use of a trailer, help with something mechanical, or providing at least one alternative route, uh oh, there's a clue, to wherever you may be headed. He's represented Star Riders 124 in probably more ways than we know. And for 2007, the Star Riders Spirit of the Ride Award goes to Mike Griswold. <laughs> well, we're going to close with a song. Not that we worked on it a lot, but I think I'm going to try to play along. Play along? How far we get. Hey, do we want to play a sing along? If they feel like singing along, it's not kumbaya, <laughs> but you'll all get to heaven quicker if you sing. That's what they told me when I was learning to drive. Whatever that meant. Okay. See so what we do. Motorcycleville a la Margaritaville. We'll give it a whirl. And that's not it. Hello. Wish I knew how to work this. Sun and the 
was so bright I sailed through a red light